first of all, thank you for the question and for the opportunity to be here with you. Uh, the link between the financial system and forests really is the same that exists between any natural resource and the financial system. Uh, the forestry industry relies on financing in order to undertake its activities. Uh, but what makes forestry a, a little bit different is the amount of activity that occurs outside of the formal financing uh, a, a world. Uh, a lot of forestry activity and specifically uh, a lot of deforestation, which is where uh, uh, most of the concerns arise, uh, uh, is undertaken outside of the uh, world of uh, formal bank uh, or other forms of financing, and therefore is more difficult to follow, to study, to manage, and to understand. If I were to mention the main challenges in the area of forestry, uh, it, it's hard not to start with the issue of deforestation. Uh, in many parts of the world, especially those that are most biodiversity rich, uh, we have a, a, an issue that has been referred to as the tragedy of the commons. A lot of forests are located in public land or land that is otherwise not uh, very closely monitored and managed and, uh, and where few have uh, few individuals or organizations have a clear economic interest in managing for the long term. So a lot of that deforestation activity uh, occurs uh, uh, in a manner that, uh, that really uh, is very difficult to control. Very closely related to this broad issue of deforestation is the fact that so much uh, uh, forestry activity uh, occurs in uh, uh, either outside of the formal economy or in countries in which the uh, economy tends to be managed uh, rather informally in many ways. Um, in, in some of the wealthier OECD countries in the North, uh, the forestry activity that we see is very much integrated into the financing system, uh, financing system and the mainstream economy. But uh, if we're looking at places such as uh, uh, northwestern Brazil uh, and others in the Amazon basin, uh, the, uh, the Democratic Republic of Congo, uh, Indonesia and other Southeast Asian countries, uh, uh, the regulatory system is often not as uh, independent of uh, economic groups uh, or simply doesn't have uh, uh, the kind of uh, supervisory capabilities that uh, are required in order to ensure that biodiversity and forests are managed most appropriately. I suppose the most important thing that we need to worry about uh, when thinking about a sustainable finance and forests is to ensure that more of the economic activity uh, that relates to forests, particularly in highly biodiverse countries in the global south, occurs within the economic system uh, that is formal, within the financing system that is formal, rather than outside of the boundaries of regulated economic activity. That seems paradoxical, uh, perhaps to some, that we would want to bring more uh, 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 corporate, if you will, and more formal banking uh, into forestry rather than less. But I think much of the most serious problems of deforestation, of informality, of poor regulation, of uh, 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 others, uh, that occur in the global south are a result of 
uh, not too much governmental intervention or corporate activity, but perhaps uh, uh, too little. And the corporate activity that does occur, and I'm thinking in particular of some Southeast Asian countries, it not, is not as well regulated and integrated into the uh, uh, global financing system uh, as it should be. Because like it or not, uh, uh, global banks are now, uh, unlike uh, 20 years ago, say, much more aware of and much more sort of careful about uh, financing activities in the forestry sector, particularly in tropical countries, because they have started to recognize not only the environmental risks that are involved, but also the reputational risks for their institutions. So in a nutshell, how do we get more of this forestry activity uh, uh, to, uh, into the uh, economic mainstream?